Hi everyone, this is Coach D and we are back for part two of how to cover a fast wide receiver. Basically, we're helping our defensive backs, also known as our cornerbacks, sometimes even your safeties, but your cornerbacks, your defensive backs, the people that are covering the wide receivers improve their skills. You can tell, I've already been working. I've already been doing some of these, <laughs> these drills. So let's dive right into it. Now, a couple key principles before we get started with part two. Number one, you can never let a wide receiver behind you. I say it all the time. Defense, no one gets behind you, period. Why? Well, if they're behind me, then the ball goes over my head and I'm sitting here swatting at it. And that's where touchdowns are made all the time. They're thrown over the head of the defense. The wide receiver has burned past the defense. So we want to make sure that my principle is you have to stay within one yard, okay, of that wide receiver. If they're trying to get behind you, it's okay. As long as you're within one yard of them, okay, then you can catch up. You can be, you can be fine, okay? Another thing is you want to play for the ball. What does that mean? Well, if I'm, let's say I'm getting beat and I look at the wide receiver's eyes and I see that they're, you know, they're, they're looking at the ball and the ball's coming over and I have my back to the quarterback because I'm running, trying to catch up with my wide receiver and I just start going like this and I slap the wide receiver, you're gonna get penalties all day long. So I'll show you a technique where you wanna make sure that you are still able to turn toward the quarterback so you can see what's going on so you can see if the ball's coming and then you're playing for the ball okay when the ball's coming you're playing for this you're not playing to slap the wide receiver or, or knock the wide receiver down or anything like that it's always playing for the ball all right so for our first drill we moved out to the yard here and i've got an uphill you know how i like the uphill and in the last video, we talked about how to do the back pedal, right? So I would go from this cone to the next cone backwards. Well, then at some point, I need to turn and run full speed with the wide receiver. Otherwise, I'm gonna be burned every single time. You, me, no one can do the back pedal as, as fast as someone can run straight ahead. So let me show you this first drill. We've got about 10 yards apart, right? So I'd say even maybe five to seven yards is that point where they're gonna have to run and then turn, right? They're gonna have to turn. So let me show you what that looks like. I'll put the quarterback where you are. Let's put our quarterback over here. And I'm gonna show you a principle that's key when I'm turning. Remember, quarterback is over there. I'm the defensive back. I've got my nice stance, planted foot. This is my strong foot, <clears throat> right? My dominant foot, comfortable, ready to go, back nice. And this is what I usually do, boom. But now I gotta turn, level two. Ready, you go. <sighs> doom, doom. Once I hit that next cone, five, 10 yards away, now I'm gonna turn. I'll show you what that looks like. I'm gonna turn. And now the running back and I are running, right, right together. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. Okay. So I'm turning toward the quarterback. I'm turning toward the quarterback because I want to still keep my eye a little bit on that quarterback, even though I'm with my wide receiver. My wide receiver is within one yard, remember, right here with me. But now, if they throw the ball, I can play for the ball instead of with my back turned. Imagine the quarterback's over there and I turn the other way and now I'm just watching the wide receiver's eyes. 
and I'm just hoping, and then I jump in their way. Uh-uh, that's a penalty. They're gonna burn me every single time. So, I turn in toward the quarterback, no matter where, and now I'm running alongside, still within a yard of my, my wide receiver. They throw it, I can now play for the ball. Phew, interception, right? Phew, easy. So, try both ways though. Anything I do on one side, I have to do on the other. Her. Quarterback's over there. Quarterback is over here now. And what you want to do at the very beginning is you want to have them go half pace so you can work on the form first. Okay? Form first. Then they can go full speed. Dominant foot, back, 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 plant. All right, so let's look at some footwork. Dominant foot ahead. I go back, back, back. And on this last, this next one, when I turn, I put my foot a little bit out and I start to run. Let's go the other way, so you can see a little bit better. I go back, back, boom. See how I'm, when I plant that other foot, it's ready to go. It's ready to go. So I'm not going, uh-uh. I'm very deliberate. Boom, right? So at about five yards is when you're gonna do that, depending on. Now, when you do this, I have a drill called run past me, where you pair up a wide receiver and a cornerback that are equal talent, right, equal speed. And basically what's gonna happen is this. You have the running back or the wide receiver that starts on the cone on one side, the line of scrimmage, and then you have the, the defensive back paired up with them, right? Who's one to three yards off the line of scrimmage. And then the one, the running back basically just tries to beat them. And they just do a fly pattern, just straight ahead. And all you're practicing over and over is oh, that move. Okay, got it. Now let me show you another one. Another thing you're gonna have is, sometimes you're gonna have that safety in the back, okay? You have a defensive back, you have another defensive back, right? Whether it's zone or corner or, uh, or man coverage, but then you usually, I usually call it a monster. You have your monster in the back, right? And they're watching the whole entire field. Well, I wanna make sure that they're able to quickly change direction quickly shuffle if they need to go that way. I want to get them conditioned as well. So let me show you a, a nice drill for that. What I've done, you see one cone right here. I have another cone about 10 yards over, right about there. I'll bring it over. And then I have one in the back. Basically I have a triangle, right? So I've created a nice little triangle here on the back. And here's what we're gonna do. And you can spread this out a little bit, a little bit more, but I want them to be able to move in several different directions. So the first thing I want them to be able to do is go back to this other cone. They're keeping open, right? And then boom, they gotta move this way. And then they gotta shuffle this way. And then they gotta move backwards to this, right? And then they kinda go over here. And then they gotta go back, right? And they gotta come here. Then they gotta move, right? So you can do, you can start on whichever cone and then just have them go one, two, three, right? And then backwards. Boom, boom, boom. This is a great exercise as like a warm up. All the kids, they're kind of stumbling in, okay? One side, you have 
nice little agility ladder if you've ever watched some of my videos I usually like to do a, an agility ladder at the beginning or you have something like this and they're just okay shuffling and moving to the different positions right if you wanted to pop that last cone all the way back then you can practice what we just learned Now I have it about 15, 20 yards away. So as I come here, now I can do a back pedal and then I can run, right? And I'm keeping forward, right? And then I go here and I might have to run up and then I go back. That's a great one. So we've covered a couple key nice principles. Number one, defense never behind you. Don't worry guys, I'm not gonna pass out. I have thrown up a few times. But then you gotta come back in the game. Anyway, all right, so we have, defense will never be behind you. It's gonna happen, every time it happens, I usually come out, make it fun and say, all right, five push-ups, and then I'll do the push-ups with them. I'll be like, all right, we let them behind us. Let's do it, right? Never again. Make it fun, okay? No one behind you. Another thing is, not within more than a yard, okay? They're doing a post pattern. If they're cutting across and doing an out pattern, when they're coming over here and they're cutting like this, I wanna make sure that I stick with them, right? That they are not more than a yard in front of me, right? So that I can just go for that ball. Boom, go for that ball, right? So, within one yard. And when you're turning and you're running, you're a defensive back or a cornerback, you gotta make sure that you're keeping yourself open to the quarterback. So you can kind of watch the quarterback, watch the wide receiver at the same time, and you're always playing for the ball, not for the wide receiver. Okay, running back or whatnot. For your safeties, you want them to be able to shuffle in the open field. You want them to be able to quickly change direction. If they get a handoff, if there's you know, a, a, a long bomb out that way, you wanna make sure that they're covering that as well. So you wanna use the triangle to really get them comfortable with that. And remember, if you don't have a playbook yet, or you're drawing up your own plays, or you're struggling with that, go to flagfootballwithcoachd.com. Go ahead and put your email in there, and I'll give you 10% off any of those playbooks. And you gotta ask yourself this question. This is what I ask. Do I want an all-in-one playbook? Like it has every single thing, templates and practice schedules and, and plays and everything. Or do I want an age-based playbook? If you can answer that, you just click on playbooks, it'll give you a couple options. Pick the one you love, boom, there you go. Yeah, and one more thing, I just released, just this week, our defense drill packs. One of the most important questions that I get on a regular basis is how do I build up my defense? Well, I've taken all the drills that I've ever created, right? I've whittled it down to the top 15 and I've made a printable copies for you. You literally print them out. It tells you the skill level, the skills to be developed. It tells you the setup, the equipment, the instructions, and even some coaching notes with some diagrams. And you can even watch the videos so that you know exactly what to do. And we're having a launch special right now. So make sure you go to flag football with coach D.com. Click on drill packs right at the top. It's that one. Boom. You can set your defense. I call it a shut down defense. That's what you gotta do. So get some this season, whether you're on the field or you're just practicing and learning and helping your kids even at home with their conditioning and workouts. It doesn't matter. This is Coach D. If you like what you see, go ahead and subscribe, comment, like, and of course share. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.